Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hi, how are you? I am going to, in this video, try on my September boxy charm, and I'm going to rate every item that I received um, on a scale from one to 10. So it should be kind of fun. Yeah, so if you wanna see how I got this eye look and how I got this attitude, <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is the September BoxyCharm, a little bit smaller than last month's. Let's open it up and check it out. This is what came in my box. Oh, righty then. In case you can't read it, it is a microblade effect brow pen by Billion Dollar Brows. So yeah, this is everything that came in my box, um, except for the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. Um, that I'm not going to include in today's video because Dr. Brandt is not a cruelty-free brand. The first thing <laughs> that I noticed when I opened the box was another set of brushes. I mean, I, I shouldn't complain just because it's like, you know, you can never really have too many brushes. It just feels like they send me f***ing brushes like every month. <sighs> the Violet Voss palette, I don't know what to expect. Um, well, these are the shades, like, just by looking at it, I'm not like excited. Hank and Henry, I've also never tried anything from that brand, so I am pretty ex... No, I'm not. I'm not. Why am I even lying? It's another liquid liner pen. And then we have, and I'm actually pretty excited about this. This is that Microblade Effect brow pen, and I'm really like exploring and looking into other brow products right now just because I, especially brow pens, I really like the effect that um, felt tip brow pens give. So I'm really excited to try this, which reminds me, I also really want to try the Glossier brow, brow flick. And that's what this reminds me of. So I guess I'm going to use these brushes today. I'm just going to open these up. The handles on these brushes actually feel really cool. They're super, they have like this, um, like soft kind of rubberized textured, like grippy feel to it. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And I'm actually going to prime my eyes with another product that I got in a boxy charm, like way back a few months ago. Um, this is the Luscious Angel Eyes <laughs> Eyeshadow Primer. Um, looks like this and... It's honestly just like one of the best eyeshadow primers I've ever used, so there's that. I think I'm gonna take the shade Terracotta and um, blend it with the shade Cinnamon, mix the two. So far I'm not terribly upset with it. And these brushes are um, Royal and Late Nickel brushes, but um, it's kind of like they're sister brand or like, I don't know, they're Moda brushes, the Moda Pro brushes by Royal and Lang Nickel. And this set is the five piece deluxe eye kit. Just making sure I... And also for reference, I am currently using the crease brush, the BMX 430. All right, then now I'm just taking a little bit of that terracotta shade. Now I'm taking the shade brush <laughs> and I'm kind of pressing out um, the outer lines, like just kind of blending it into the skin. Maybe I should just do this eye first, then do the other eye off camera. That way I'm not taking like 10 years for a look. I also want to use like as many shades as possible. 
pink is like the shade pink. It's like your basic NARS orgasm, rosy pink to gold. The gold shade is just very much your basic yellow gold. Let's check out the plumberry shade. Maybe that has something special to offer us. Actually, yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's a nice dimensional like Well, I'll just show you this watch. That is plumberry. That's probably my favorite shade in the entire palette I'm gonna take some concealer and then lay it down in the middle of my lid I hate when there's like a stray hair on one of your brushes and it just f***s up the entire Look that you're going for all right, so I'm gonna take that plumberry shade and just pack it on. Okay, so I've laid that down. However, let me swatch this emerald shade and see if it's worth looking at. It's a very cool toned, almost like teal emerald, if that makes sense. And it's definitely one of those formulas that swatches better with your like finger. It's okay. I mean, it's cute. I usually don't wear a ton of bright colors, but just to try it on today, I think I'm going to blend it in. Well, I took the green up as far as I want to take it, so I'm going to use the gold. <laughs> and I'm going to take that and just blend it into my inner corner. I'm going to take a little bit more cinnamon, and I want to take just a smaller, denser brush, e.l.f. concealing brush, and like really define my crease. Sometimes when you have a lot of metallics going on, it just can look a little messy. So the palette is not like complete garbage, it's just not my favorite thing ever. Two hours later. Okay, so this is kind of the final look before my brows and before my liner and mascara. I added more cinnamon, which is this like darker, more maroon shade to my lower lash line. Um, and I kind of messed around with my eye look a little bit. I put on my foundation, obviously, which lately I have been using a half and half combination of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter and the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir. Um, basically, I have a ton of foundations and I'm just trying to use and go through what I have and not buy more. So that's just the cocktail I'm using right now. And for my primer, I use the e.l.f poreless putty primer, which I'm liking quite a bit. I use that kind of like all around like the outer <laughs> outer perimeter of my face and then I use the Fenty Pro Filter primer um, in my more like oily areas of my face. So my nose, the center of my chin, forehead, um, and just kind of like the center of my face. And then I set it with the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Powder, which is my all-time favorite setting powder yet that I've ever tried. I love it. Not that you guys care, but I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs> For the blush, I use the Melt Makeup Blush in the shade Honey Thief. It is my favorite blush lately. It's just like a really peachy, subtle blush. Um, and for my bronzer, I have been using this almost daily. It's just one of my favorite bronzers ever. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I am going to, and I did swatch this on the back of my hand, I swatched the Hank and Henry liner right here, and then I just couldn't wait. And so these little swatchy marks here <laughs> are the billion dollar um, brow marker swatches. So I don't want to go too ham with liner. I'm just not that into like a really bold, like, like winged liner look lately. Um, but I am just going to kind of like do a subtle stamp, I think, along my lash line. Which if I do wear liquid liner, this is kind of how I'll wear it lately. And it just kind of like makes your lashes look a little bit thicker. But it's a little watery. It's your basic 
liner and I thought it was going to be felt tip but it is actually like one of those like um, brush tips, like a paint brush tip. This one in particular does seem just a little bit watery and I did notice when swatching it that you have to kind of build it up to get a really nice opacity to it, like a really deep black. So I'm not like blown away by it, it's just whatever. Liquid eyeliner. It is what it is. It's our final BoxyCharm product, which is the Billion Dollar Brows um, brow pen. There she is. So, I'm a little nervous about this. Um, just because when you open it up, it does have, let me show you, it's, it has those like three tongs to it. Um, so when you make a stroke, it's like you're making three strokes. Wow. You know? A little different than what I'm used to. I'm gonna just try to make really subtle strokes like I normally would when I'm using dip brow or a brow pencil. So far, I like it. I don't know, it's cool, I like it, I guess, but... This is not going to replace my daily brow routine. For what it is, it seems, you know, seems cool. Okay, so brows are done, mascara's on, I'm done. Done, done, done. Um, I actually want to rate everything that I got in my BoxyCharm, each and every item, um, on a scale from one to 10. I thought that would be a, a fun thing to do, is rate them, why not? Um, so the first thing I want to rate is probably my favorite item in the box, and that is actually the brush set that I got from Moda. Um, what I really like about these brushes is that they are um, made with synthetic fibers, they're really soft, really fluffy. If I had to make a complaint about these brushes, it would be um, the line brush here is probably the most worthless brush in the set and why I say that um, is I mean it looks like it's a liner brush if you make a brush like this in this shape like an angled precision liner brush please just make it like thinner don't make it thick it just ends up being worthless because you can't use it for liquid liner uh, the line will be too large I, there's nothing that I would really ever use this brush for because it's so thick other than that, I really do like all the brushes, and this retails for $27.95, and that's actually a really, really good deal. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I really like the brushes a lot. Um, next thing, the Violet Voss Essentials Palette. I just wasn't, like, crazy about it. I think the quality is not terrible, but the only two shades in here that I'm going to get a ton of use out of um, would be the cinnamon shade, which is, like, your more warm, reddish, like, deep brown, and terracotta, which is, like, your warm, orangey shade that everyone puts in their crease every f day. That's literally, those are the two shades that I would use daily. Um, so I don't know, I would give this palette probably like a 6 or 7 out of 10. It just like did not excite me. <laughs> so here's the first thing I'll say. For a black liquid liner, having this packaging with like a more coppery metallic type of lid, people are going to assume that this is a metallic brown liquid liner. Packaging is very huge and um, yeah, I do love that it is a vegan formula, however. This retails for $20. Give it like a, a 7 or 8 out of 10 because it's vegan. <laughs> um, the Billion Dollar Brows. I'm actually not sure if this is a cruelty-free brand or not, um, but because I did test it out today, I will rate it. I don't know. It's cool for what it is. <laughs> I I'm always going to say that about everything. <laughs> Um, but I'm not obsessed with it, and I'm probably not going to use it, like, ever again. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm gonna give that, like, a, a solid 5 or 6 out of 10. 
just because the opacity really wasn't there and I know it's a brow pen so you don't want like super like sharp intense brows but the pigment just was a little underwhelming and the like prongs on the applicator they don't deliver much to the skin I'm gonna give it a five or a six I can't remember what I said anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you are not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and click the little bell um, so you can get notified of when I post another video thanks so much and have a good day bye